the first thing we're going to do, could you read the directions, please, Yasmin? Nice and loud. Shh. All right, complete sentences. All right, so what I want you to do is look at the table up here. All right, I just want you to uh, make an observation. What do you see on the table? Okay. <coughs> No, you need to do this. Okay, I'm going to go back, please. So I don't have to leave you more. Goodness, yes. I see. Okay, just write it. I need you to write oh. it. Put your food away. Okay, put your food away, and let's... I can't even see. All right, so you can stand up. If you can't see, feel free to come up here. All right? All right, you can go ahead and cut for now, because we get a good close-up of what's here. All right? All right? All right. So now, once you're done, you've written an observation. What items do I see on the table? So these are the items on the table. The next thing I want you to do is predict. Make a prediction. What is the teacher going to do with the items on the table? And what will happen? So be descriptive. All right? Predict what I'm going to do with the items on the table. Do that now. So the next part up here, communicate the procedures, all right? Can you read that for me there, Naveen? Number, <clears throat> that communicate the procedures? Communicate in writing what you see the teacher do, this teacher do. In sequential order, write down what you see happening as the teacher does, what he, she, he does. Write as if you are explaining to this to someone who will not get to see the demonstration. All right, so focus on sequential order. What does sequential order mean, Celia? Sequential order. Does anyone know what sequential order means? No. All right, so one, two, three, four. So in order from first to last, okay? So who would like to come up here and perform this with me, okay? Brianna, can you come up and, and be my uh, assistant? She has day five. It's all right. Okay. So come on up. You're coming up. So Brianna and I, I have a special skill. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want you to look at, just stand like uh, to the side like I am, so that side. The first thing I want you to watch is, they got to stay up here with me. All right. Now, first off, over here, do golf balls sink or float? Sink. Sink. Float. float. All right. So let's watch. Float boat. Oh, wait, some of them sink. This guy's going to throw the golf ball in the water. It floats in okay? Some of them sink. Float. Some. Sink. Float. Uh, sink. Or is that called bouncing? Float. Bouncing. So what do golf balls do? Bounce. Bounce. And when they stop bouncing, do they float or sink? Sink. Golf balls sink. Okay? But if you notice, what do golf balls have on them? They have what? Golf. They're called dimples. They're called dimples, okay? So golf balls have dimples on them. All right? Now, if I trap enough air in the dimples, what could I do with my golf ball? Make it float. Ah. So, let's see. Here we go. All right, come on over here there, Brianna. And I know that Brianna, do you have the skill of floating a golf ball? Can't do. Have you ever floated a golf ball before? No. Okay. So, I have the ability to float a golf ball. Okay? Uh, all right. Now, we're going to try. You're going to try? Can I try? Yeah, I'm going to try. You can try next. Okay? So here we go. Go ahead. Ready? Come inside yeah, the not, camera, gonna Brianna. Because if you throw it, definitely. Won't. So you, you have to like. place it. Brianna, come in the okay? camera. So ready? No. <laughs> it's about to slip. Suck. Oh. Hey. Let me try again. <laughs> and okay, and Mr. Perkins was tight. Was Zoom nice. in. Yep. All right, hold on. His floated. <laughs> Her sunk. <laughs> now he getting something they clean the toes with. Uh, <laughs> they use that the nail salon. Here. Oh, it's about to flip. Here. Oh, my turn? Come on, come on up. Let's see if you have the skill. Okay. It's all wet. It's going to be slippery. Sorry. Just got to place it nice. Oh, my God. Nice. Let's go slow. Neat. I got well, yeah, I don't know. Do you feel like it's going to float? Her sunk. 
Leg up. Hey, can I try next, Mr. Perkins? Yep. yep. Is Mr. Perkins He's got right. the magic it's touch. Or something. The Wonder Twins have not been able to equal Mr. Perkins' skills. He so said the Wonder Twins. Know. I know. Right, Kevin's turn. Thanks, Brianna. Can you pass me a napkin to drive this ball off? Sure. Drive the balls off. <laughs> Kevin just wanted to be in the camera. That's all. Oh my God. Drive this ball off. Come on, let's go. You guys are taking all day. Okay, so you. Wait, let's let him do his first. No, go ahead. I don't, I, I'm missing a ball. So, uh, someone, I lost one golf ball somehow. I see one floating around the school. We'll get it for you next time. I don't know what's yours. I'm not going to just pick something. Come on, Mike. Anyone else want to give it a shot? Wait. All right, Nick thinks he can do it. All right, come on. Move, Kevin. No. Let's do this one. Wherever you want to do. Okay, hold on. You got to move to the Why side, though. You, gotta move to the you can't be in okay. front of the camera. Okay. All right. <laughs> Woo! What the hell? Magic I mean, what touch. The hell? Magic Rick has the touch. skill just like me. No, Magic touch. Magic touch. Magic touch. Is. Hold on. Can you go to Brianna? She wants to tell us. No, no, I don't. I don't. Don't turn. Don't turn. Yeah, Nick. Excuse me. You look cute. Can I try this ball? Okay, hold on. Move to the side. Hey, magic that touch, magic touch. She bounced it. But Mr. Perkins, it. Mr. Perkins didn't bounce the first when he did she it. She bounced it though. She bounced it again. It's that type of water or the jar. Yes, it is. It's some type of water. Yeah, I told you. It's the type of water. It's like salt water or something because I see like. Oh, All right, dogs. go ahead and cut the video. So, but he, but you made his folks, pick in his jar you too. need to no, communicate to clear. me. What did we do? What we do a lot of detail, just based, it's straightforward. First Time to step, right now. All right, so after you communicate the procedures, explain in detail the science that causes the demonstration to react the way it does. Use your prior knowledge of science to give your best explanation to why this golf ball right here is floating and why the other golf ball did not float. Don't say it out loud, write your own explanation, okay? And then finally, when you're done with that, you're going to do a self-evaluation of your writing. Okay? You're going to fill in a CFS, a criteria for success, to evaluate oh. your writing. All right? So let's do those steps now. I wrote them wrong. Can you turn mine down? Yeah, ain't that the sort that's in a beach? <laughs> Say anything else? The ocean. Yeah, this is <laughs>